it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. So obviously if I'm filming the intro and other clips right now instead of on the day, it means I didn't really film that much and I think I only filmed a get ready with me and even then I didn't really say much. So you'll be seeing more of me, well this whole video is just me, but as in like me right now instead of on the day, just to explain what happened during the graduation and just more graduation things. So let's switch over to last year when I was getting ready for graduation from the University of Warwick with a psychology degree. All right, so time to get ready. I still can't believe I'm graduating. I don't know why I thought I was going to open it that way. It's a twist cap. Don't know how I graduated. That's not the right hand see there. That basically sums up my whole uni experience to be honest. Okay, it's brows time. I've used this brow pencil like twice and my brows have come out really dark. I don't have my normal brow pencil I usually use because obviously I've used it up. So let's hope I don't make myself look like I block eyebrows, you know? It's a pretty important day. So important that I forgot to blink. I want to talk about my experience at uni but I'm just so concentrated on this brow that I can't speak. Okay. Wow, look at the difference. <laughs> That looks decent. That honestly took too long. Anyway, the three years of uni has literally gone by so quickly. They go by quicker than the last, which makes sense because the year in your life becomes less significant or like the time feels shorter. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know how I managed to get through all three years, but I did. <laughs> okay, let's hope this doesn't have flashback because it's white but most powders are white now so i don't even know what i'm talking about this literally has nothing to do with uni okay let's talk about uni no comment it's been fun <laughs> what it's been a roller coaster i'd like to introduce you to frank <laughs> he decided to join us today a little bit annoying but there you go Oh, it's really obvious as well. Oh well, tough luck. Such quality content. Honestly, this year, I've been so bad with YouTube. I actually haven't posted anything, but I have a bunch of videos and stuff to edit. Literally, the last video I posted was in January, and it's July. Like, this year, I was thinking of doing more, like, dinner life, uni student kind of stuff. But now I can't. Well, I can't pretend, but you know, that's lying. Why do you say it like that? I don't know who I think I am. <laughs> I'm gonna open this. Bam. Now I've got a nose. I've got some cheekbones. I've got eyes. <laughs> Alright, time to put some lashes on. And then we got to go. I was probably should charge my phone for a bit because. This probably made it down to like 50%. All I'm going to do is put lashes on and put an outfit on. So I'm just going to stop this and charge my phone. So then I put on my outfit, which was a red jumpsuit that I actually bought two years ago during Christmas and finally found the time to wear it. Not going to lie, I was running a little late on schedule because I wanted to get to uni a little earlier to take the studio photos before the whole ceremony with my family. But in the end, we did do it. So that was okay, but it was a mega, mega big rush. And after the photo was taken, I was literally like running, sprinting to the hall because all the graduates had to sit down a little earlier than everyone else, which makes sense. So everything like runs smoothly and it was so boring. <laughs> I'd say 75% of the time you were just sat there clapping, which like is good if you have friends in your course. <laughs> Why does that sound so sad? Probably because I didn't really have that many friends in my course. Like when people talk about their graduations, they're like, oh, it was so nice to see all my friends, all my course friends. And like, I wish I was like that, but literally all my friends are from dance and I barely went to, le <laughs> sorry mom, I barely went to lectures and seminars, so yeah. But yeah, the ceremony happened. I'm gonna be honest, I expected something more, but I don't know what I was expecting because I knew you just had to like walk up, shake someone's hand, 
well, probably someone important, <laughs> and then get your certificate and then just walk off the stage. And so I don't know why in my head I was like, oh, it's gonna be this like massive thing. And like even leading up to walking onto the stage, I was like, oh, maybe I should do something crazy. Like maybe I should kick a leg up because you know, I'm a dancer. But then I was so boring and I literally just like walked on stage like a normal person, which I feel like paid off because not many people in the course knew who I was. So even if I did do that, there wouldn't be any response from the audience. So good job to me to not make myself look so strange on stage as a last impression for many people in that room because I don't think I'll see any of them again. Then it was time to take the massive course photo and the iconic throwing the graduation hat in the air. And oh my goodness, it took so long. Like I knew it was gonna take a long time because there's so many people and apparently not everyone knows how to have their photo taken, which I know it was a luxury, so I shouldn't act that way. But the thing that really gets me when we have group photos and there's a flash is that there's always one or two or a bunch of people after they take a photo, they're like, oh my gosh, my eyes, the flash. Like, what were you expecting? Like, if you want your face lit, let the flash flash at you. It's just for like one second and you get great photo at the end. Anyway, ran over. So we had to line up in height order. And I think I ended up in the third row near the middle. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I always try even though it's like hard because it's based on your height, but I always try to end up in the center. Wow, <laughs> I'm so self-conceited, but um, yes. So yeah, we stood there for a while in the sun. I don't know about everyone else, but I was not loving it. I don't know if my mom got this on camera, but <laughs> for like most of it, I was just stood there like, when will this end? Why is everyone so annoying? I wanna go now, just take the photo. I wanna leave. And then when the guy counted down to finally take the photo, I was like doing the iconic haze smile that I've been trained to do since birth. And then we had to wait for a while because our graduation photo was being filmed for a news outlet and they wanted to do it live. So we had to wait for their cue in order for us to do the hat throwing thing. And obviously the photographer had to explain how we did it. So the front half had to try and aim their hat throw forwards and the back half had to aim their hat backwards when they threw it. Because obviously the hat is square and there's sharp corners. So you wouldn't really want that falling on your head as it's coming down. And that was it for the ceremony and the group photo. Usually depending on your course, there might be a gathering afterwards at either the common room or like a specific room at uni. I think the psychology one did have one, but as I said just now, like I wasn't that <laughs> into the course, so I didn't really go. I ended up using the rest of the day to take loads and loads of photos around campus because my family loves photos and I personally love photos as well. Like obviously I love to document everything in my life. So when I tell you we took loads of photos, like we'd use the same pose and the same like different groups of people at each location. So we did one with the big Warwick letters. We did one at the Department of Psychology. We did ones just like randomly around campus as well. Just your normal average hat throw and then bam, my face. But yeah, the psychology graduation was in the morning and there was an afternoon batch of graduations happening. And <laughs> we were taking photos until that batch of people were about to go into the ceremony or like maybe they were coming out. I don't remember. I just know that we took ages taking photos and I'm not mad about it because you only graduate once. Well, I'm only gonna graduate once because I am done with education. <laughs> so that was my graduation. But before I end off this video, I just wanted to give out a few tips for graduation ceremonies. So the first thing is for girls or whoever wants to wear these, but make sure you wear really comfortable shoes or heels. So the heels that I was wearing were pretty comfortable for myself and I, I'm comfortable wearing heels anyway, but make sure you do have a pair of heels that you are comfortable wearing, comfortable walking in, especially if you're gonna be taking photos for the whole day like I did. And if you have a pair of new heels that you wanna wear, make sure you wear them around the house or outside a few times before, or put in some of those gel inserts at the balls of your feet and the heels so it's more comfortable. Or alternatively, bring a pair of flat shoes to change into when you're not taking photos so you can give your feet a break. Speaking of walking, I also suggest that you wear an outfit that's easy to walk in. So for myself, I ended up wearing a jumpsuit as you saw, mainly because I hadn't worn it and I've had it for a good while, but just because it's also so much easier to walk in a jumpsuit and not flash people. Because I did see a few girls that had dresses that were a bit too short, so as they were walking on stage, they were trying to pull their skirt down and make sure they don't flash the audience and like first off that doesn't look that great and number two I feel like you should be focused on like walking and not trying to fall and in general I feel like if your outfit is comfortable you'll have more fun on the day and not be stressed about one more thing. I'd also suggest to take loads of photos like I did and even though I took loads of photos of my family and friends and of myself as I look through the album I still feel like oh I should have taken more so really carve out some time during the day either before or after your ceremony to take loads of photos and celebrate and milk the attention 
as much as you can. Really take everything in and enjoy the day. Another tip that I have that I didn't do myself is to get socials or your course mates contacts so you can stay connected with them even after graduation. Because if you are going into the field that you did your degree on, I feel like it's good to have connections in the same field. And I think in general, it's just nice to still be connected to people that you did the course with, even though for myself, <laughs> I didn't really feel connected with many of them. And yeah, that was my graduation and graduation video. So if you liked it, give this video a like. If you wanna see more content from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna find me on social media, all my socials are at Expecting Chan X, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.